Hey all, welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I'm Darren, of course, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little different in our series for anything but beef burgers. We're gonna be doing some Greek-style smash burgers. We're gonna be using lamb, of course, some Greek seasoning, our all-purpose black garlic seasoning, and we're gonna do some smash burgers with a little feta cheese. I'll show you what we're gonna do. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, Getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, so let's get started here. So, like I said, I do have my um, ground lamb that I got from Wild Fork here. It is Australian. Um, I much prefer domestic lamb when I'm making any other kind of lamb, like lamb, leg of lamb or rack of lamb, anything like that. But I guess uh, Australian lamb is okay for lamb burgers here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just put the whole, this is about a pound of ground lamb. Like I said, I got it from Wild Fork. You can uh, see a link below. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons or so can kind of eyeball it of the ground or the uh, Greek authentic Greek seasoning from Fresh Jacks since it's already got a little bit of salt in it I'm only gonna put maybe about a teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning in the meat here and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up with my hands but I kind of want to break it up first spread it out <clears throat> does look like it's got plenty of fat in there so I'm not going to be too worried about adding any kind of fat what I'm going to do like I said I'm going to make it really simple seasoning guys because I do want to taste the lamb so I'm not going to put any other um, vegetables or anything on the burger we're just going to make it the way I've got it here I'll put a little bit of more seasoning on it when we smash the burgers on the griddle but what I've done with this, I've taken the feta cheese because the feta cheese is not going to really melt like a regular cheese would. So I kind of mixed it with some tzatziki sauce here. So I'm going to put these on at the end, right before I'm ready to take them off. Like I said, feta cheese doesn't really melt like other cheeses. So I'm not worried about it, uh, you know, messing it up and melting. So I'm really... Uh, um, just going to put it on just enough to kind of heat it up a little bit then we're going to put it on the burger i can smell my griddle getting ready so i'm going to go ahead and ball this up and like i said i will put a little bit more seasoning on the uh, burgers after i smash them and get them going all right guys i'm going to patty these up and ball them up and i'll be right back all right guys i got these all mixed up all the seasonings mixed in there one of the things you can do when you're making smash burgers like i'm doing here is just get yourself an ice cream scoop and just kind of make a ball right around your ice cream scoop. That'll give you kind of a perfect size smash burger, depending on how big you like them. But I kind of like mine on better, bigger size. Just kind of smush it around. I'm gonna make a few, couple of these, even though I'm gonna be the only one eating them. All right, guys so I got them all balled up <clears throat> I got my bun here we're gonna toast that up when uh, the burgers almost done but like I said this is my tzatziki and feta cheese mixture and we'll put that on right at the end when these are almost done highly suggest if you don't know um, when you're making smash burgers always good to use um, parchment paper between the burger and the smasher just so it doesn't stick so it makes it really easy to take the smasher off and go to the next one so that's what i'm going to do when we go over to the uh griddle i'll see you over there all right guys it's time to smash these up i'm going to put just a little bit of oil down and spread it out so we don't have a sticking problem too bad make sure you spread out your uh, balls here 
so that they're not going to smush into each other. Use your parchment paper between the smasher and your meat so you don't have any sticking problems. This is a pretty hot griddle, so it's uh, going to turn out really well. You can see already that there's a lot of fat in there. I put a little bit more seasoning on. Flipping them over, you can see that crust is awesome. Put my tzatziki and feta mixture on top. Now we're going to go ahead and patty them up and uh, take a taste. Get them all off the griddle. They're turning out great. I'll see you over at the table for a taste test. All right, guys, I got this all ready to go. We're going to go ahead and take a bite of this. Check that out. Like I said, very simple. Simple seasonings. Simple sauce. Lamb with uh, Greek seasoning. Smash burger. Wow. Even though it's simple. Packed with flavor. There's plenty of fat in that meat. Get a really unctuous fillet flavor there, that lamb. Very, very savory. Nice and crispy, crunchy, because we had that griddle really, really hot. We got them really thin. This is pretty awesome. The feta mixed with the tzatziki makes it perfect. Check it out, guys. Greek lamb burger, smash burger. Awesome. Try it out. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook. Watch us on uh, Instagram. Check out the Fire and Water Cooking Edible Creations down below. I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to finish off this lamb burger. Mm -hmm.